What's up guys, my name is Corey Williams and today I'm here with Justin Williams. I know it's been a long time but we decided to drop a little video. We have some in the archive so today we'll be going over tour of Marietta. Before we get into this video, it's sponsored by Competitive Cyclist, the online bike store. This is a two day event so recovery is really important. You should go check out some of their recovery items that they have on the website. I'll link that down below and let's get into it. First lap, gotta get around the first corner first. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> right, that ain't gonna get you nowhere in the end. But anyways, so yeah, today is the first day that we're racing in our new kits, bro. So yeah. we're really excited. No, yeah, super exciting. I think I have the TT suit on. Um, yeah, you do. Yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun. So look, we get into it, we get warmed up, and like, of course, Tyler loves to ride early. So he's like, he rolls by me, he's like, get on my wheel, bro. And I'm like, he accelerates, and I'm like, nah, nah, <laughs> nah. And, and this dude from Butcher Box is thinking the same thing. You can see him calling for backup, help me, <laughs> somebody. Bro, that's that's super funny because Tyler loves riding hard. So yeah. perfect guy for the job. Uh, right here. You know, I see you. We're, we're trying to get to the front. The team looks like they're starting to ride a little bit. Yeah, they're already getting so at the front. I decided to go pull you up. There's no point of us wasting energy at different times. Right? Yeah, no, this is a good example of teamwork, right? Like you saw me, you were moving up anyway. You kind of like glid by me, let me know you were coming, and I got on your wheel, and then we slowly make our way to the front. Something that I think a, pe a lot of people uh, kind of don't do a great job of, like they use energy at the right time. For instance, right here, you wait until the field slows exactly. down. Exactly, you see the low, right? Yeah. Right, you can see everyone freewheeling, and then you use that momentum that you have from pedaling to move forward. And even right here is like really heads up because like I see what's happening. I see the group going over to the right. So, of course, I'm not going to force myself on the right side because I'm not trying to squeeze by the, the podium, bro. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no, you back out and that's good. So, here we got Butcher Box fighting our smallest guy, Angel. They were being super aggressive. I, I figured they came here thinking that they were going to bully us. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting uh, to see the tactics. Like right now, they're attacking one up when we have, you know, 10 guys on the front and we ride with this many guys because this is early season racing for us so we have to see where our guys are what their fitness are what they're uh, lacking where we need to work so we ra we're racing with all our guys and they're attacking us one up yeah which but they is had all their guys as well because they're at team camp right they're at team camp also but my point was is that attacking a full team that's riding the front one up is you know kind of a, a waste of energy um, so you can see them kind of getting tangled in our train and tangled in our train and, I, and I'll let you know like there's only so much of that will will take uh, before we start riding aggressively back and and it's something that we're extremely good at yeah and i mean as you can see wasting energy doesn't get you anywhere you see their guys constantly coming backwards and they, they've never made a full team effort to even ride next to us i figure they just wanted to fight us so you know what happened happened and you'll see what happens throughout the video yeah yeah it's one of those things where like again they're just it's a waste of energy i want to make i don't want to focus it on them but you can kind of see them like diving under us kind of riding in when a team's like putting uh, effort on the front you don't ride between them because it's just a little bit disrespectful as you can see right here lance is trying to get back to the wheel um and he gets a little bit of a flick and i'm guessing like this is their 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 enforcer right so we have to deal with him later on but again it's something where it's just a waste of energy we're, we're and all of our guys are continue to be focused they're, they're still riding really good um, and you know our guys you know it's great because they have the experience and know what to do and know when to fight and no no one not to fight exactly as you can see Lance made a smart move he waited and then came back under the guy and Diego's not gonna take any yeah, yeah. right <laughs> Diego's really small but he's very he's aggressive and, he's super and he loves to fight so he he met his uh he, he met, met the right match. person yeah <laughs> no Diego yeah he's not gonna he's not gonna take it he's raced a lot of uh, na national calendar races so he's already used to it uh, he's one of the veterans on the team so uh, you, you can see that he was fighting all that time and then he wasted all the energy fighting and then he attacks uh, and then doesn't go anywhere so it's one of those things where this is a great example of like how uh, dialed the, the guys are right they're communicating with each other they're holding their position they're uh, not accelerating when we're getting attacked they're staying calm uh, calm in the chaos they're moving this is a beautiful beautiful example of taking up space in the road when you're in a criterium yeah so that someone doesn't dive under us you'll see oh this was the next one yeah you'll see the team basically use the whole road to kind of block the exits they'll ride where you would want to go where the momentum is right and this, this is the example right yeah. here right so like he's blocking the inside of the road Corey Lockwood's still riding pretty fast mm -hmm. and it, like it said it's just a good way to keep people from diving under because we're going into three laps to go I believe yeah and then, and then they zipper back in together uh, out of the corner and then yeah I mean it, they got it together really well in this race like right now we have our starting guys on the front like there's no one it's just here right now like all uh, the guys that aren't on a squad are 
They're gone already. They're gone. Yeah. <laughs> They're already gone. So it's two laps to go. Lockwood is doing a fantastic pull. I think his pull is two laps long. Yeah, his, uh, his, his pull is two laps. He's doing an amazing job of accelerating into the corner. You can see no one's coming up next to us anymore because... Bro, this is a headwind <laughs> section right here. And this man was riding 33 miles an hour. Yeah, no, he did a fantastic job. So this is going into... This is going into one lap to go. Lance actually snapped the field right here yeah, this with this pull. This is... I was excited, man. I'm bummed we didn't get to race after. This was like the last race we did as a team. But Lance was coming onto this amazing form where dude. like this is his pull. And it's just like, I'm holding on right now. I was, <laughs> dude, I was, I was buckled up. I was behind Tyler. And Tyler's a great draft for me. So, like, I'm sitting in, buckled up, and holding on for life right now. <laughs> I'm doing the same. I, I know what's going on behind me, and I'm constantly checking because I got to have your back. And even though we're going this fast, I'm still uh, taking, I'm still looking and seeing uh, where people are. So, you see, Lance's pull is over. Isaiah's on the front now. He, he has accelerated into turn one. It's very important to win this corner. He yeah, accelerates sure. into turn one. Gets around the corner safely. He uh, he pedals through this corner, which he doesn't have to be full on the power because we need him to accelerate out of uh, this out corner, of this right corner here, yeah. to get Edder up to speed. So yeah, we come off and there's a big dip right here, and you kind of don't want to. that. So I jump <laughs> over it, and uh, yeah, Edder is again. We're in this headwind and we're going really fast. I think we're so. doing like 35, 36. Yes, yeah, and we're Diego like hits into this hour. corner, bro. We were going so fast, and this corner is sketchy. Yeah. So this is. If you see, like, Edder's on the inside. When Diego goes to accelerate, he moves to the right. This is a beautiful example of, like, Woo! what your lead out is supposed to look like. No one's fighting you because there's nowhere to go. The speed is too and high. The power really is too fast, high. Yeah. Right. And and this, that street was really narrow. So, like, Diego, job done. Pulls off, stays to the right, gets out of the way. Tyler. Man, this man, <laughs> I'm telling you, like, his leg speed is not fast, but he is going so fast. And if you see right here, I stay all the way left against the barrier. And Corey accelerates right when I say left. And now the race is on, right? Like, everyone's next to me, and I, I love a good drag race. So I accelerate into Tyler's draft and then accelerate into Corey's draft. But I just ran out a little bit of room, uh, and it was a good sprint. We actually went one, one, one two, three in this race. Exactly. Um, and, dude, I already knew I went a little too early. <laughs> you went so I looked early. up after, like, five seconds of sprinting, and the line was not <laughs> any closer. So, like, we'll run it back. And, like, yeah, it was a little mistake for me. But, you know, when I have you behind Behind me right. it doesn't matter like if I feel like we slow up a little bit I'll go even if it's for, from a long way out so I mean Tyler did a fantastic job I just felt like we we're getting a little too close to the line with yeah. you behind me so I just wanted to hit out it's still a beautiful sprint like Tyler's you know far enough to the left um, you're far enough to the left uh, you go now which is really early and I'm looking at you no one is early but you opened up such a gap on me at this point I was like oh I better like no one's gonna come yeah, right? I'm yeah. like I better go so like I, I I accelerate and I'm barely catching you. And then I get into Tyler's slipstream. Yeah. And then I start going so fast. And then I get, bro, get into that, your slipstream. That, that Zwift, <laughs> that Zwift drive, bro. You yeah. know that Zwift drive. Yeah, it, it was crazy. It was a fantastic race. We all got to stand on the uh, podium together. Um, and this is day one of two. It was, it was a good showing for yeah. our first team. team and race. we actually uh, went one, two, three again the next day. Uh, in the circuit race, which we sadly don't have any uh, footage from, but yeah, that was our weekend, and it was the last one that we did before all of this craziness happened. I'd like to say I'd like to say that I flattered in that road race chase back on and still got third. That's all I want to put out there. On <laughs> on Dante's bike, on Dante's bike. <laughs> I mean, hey, it is the what form it is. You're was coming. coming. In, you were coming into form. The form so. was coming. So great race, uh, great uh, first opening in the kit. Uh, miss racing with the guys and hopefully we can get back to this soon yeah and i hope all you guys are safe and staying safe and being smart and subscribe to the channel i'll put our uh, our instagrams make sure you go follow us and i'll catch you next time yeah of course hey up, man? Awesome ride. All right, cool. i'm like my tent is right there the black one hey that was sick brother dude thank you so much Bye. number 83 is jasper please top that's awesome dude. The i appreciate race. it man that was fun it's it's racing right now. Race, man. Yeah, we try to make it entertaining but it was no it was entertaining it gets wild we're like in there and i'm like dude what's going on <laughs> I saw uh, you hug your water bottle. I didn't know who threw it. Like, it's just as crew. I was like, oh. That's it. Yeah, no problem, dude. Can I take a picture, guys? Yeah, of course. If you find a pen, dude, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Let's make it happen. Hey, Good job. Can you get right here and take a picture of me, guys? Good shit, boys. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate you guys coming. Coming out.
Good job, guys.